All right, welcome back everyone. It's Noha here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Atlas Pistol, exclusive to the Designer's Cut DLC, the Res. Res Texas, she was right here, I swear. Hair blue as the sky. Plus 65% weapon damage, plus 35% weapon accuracy, plus 15% weapon fire rate, plus 130 splash damage radius, consumes 4 ammo per shot. Heals an ally or revives them when they are in fight for your life. 30 second cooldown. Damage is 15,844. Accuracy 77%. Handling is 75%. Reload time is 1.6 seconds. Fire rate is 0.61 a second with a 4 mag size. This one here does non-elemental damage. Every single one you get will always deal non-elemental damage. Now you will have to go into arm trace to get this weapon for the chest you're going to be looking for. It's going to be the one on the left side, right below the binary operator and boogeyman chest, right above the hot spring and best card chest. As you can see in the gameplay, I actually get mine to drop from the chest. I get a double drop in this chest. Uh, you can also get it as a world drop within arm trace from any enemy, and you can also get it from heavyweight Harker, the final boss. So you have three options to get it. Now, as you can see here, I actually got someone to join my game to show off the res ability on this. As you can see, he was downed, and I shot him with the weapon, and it actually brings him back to life. You can also heal people with the weapon. As you can see, it's doing like 22k healing right there. Uh, it has a 30 second cooldown, so I could not shoot him again in order to res him again. But that's basically what the weapon does. This weapon is, as you can tell from the red text... It's a huge reference to Maya and her, more specifically, her res skill from Borderlands 2, where you could use her phase lock ability on an ally to actually res them and bring them back to life while they were in fight for your life. So, really, this weapon does not really do damage to enemies. It's basically worthless against enemies. The only uh, use for this weapon, pretty much, is against, uh, well, for healing allies and resing them. You can also use this for Flax Pet. You can, uh, as you see here, I'm healing Flax Pet with the res. It works for him. And you can also res Flax Pet with this weapon as well. So it's kind of useful on Flax if you need to get your pet up and he's in like a difficult position. And then, you know, just in general, if, uh, if you have an ally in a difficult position that you can't really get to that you need to res really quickly, you can pull out this weapon and use it. Also, you cannot get an anointment on this pistol. Uh, it does not come with an anointment. It really doesn't do that much damage to enemies. The, like I said, the only purpose of this weapon pretty much is to heal and res people whenever they need it. Now, you, uh, do keep in mind, like I said, this the cooldown for the res is 30 seconds, so you can't just keep spamming res on multiple people. You do have to, you do have a 30 second cooldown before you can use the res ability again. But the healing is pretty much constant. There's no cooldown for that. As long as you keep, as long as there's an, uh, someone you can heal and you keep shooting them. You can keep healing. There's no cooldown for the healing ability, just for the resurrection ability. Overall, I think this weapon can be useful. Uh, you know, like I said, it's not going to do damage to enemies, but it can be a useful weapon. If you just want to throw it on, maybe like your fourth slot, you don't know what to throw on, and you're playing with multiple people, of course, this weapon's really going to be mainly, you know, used if you're playing with like a two, three, or four other, uh, well, three other people. That's the main way it's going to be used. Unless you are running flak, you can have it on just to res your pet if you need to. But to be honest, I don't really find my pet going down that much. Uh, especially the way that I'm specced into my skill trees. He doesn't really go down that much. I don't really have to worry about healing him up or anything. I can just kind of do that myself with my skills. But if you're in a, you know, a couple person party and you need to rest someone that's in a difficult position, I can see this weapon being useful if you just want to throw it on that fourth slot if you don't have another weapon to use. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.